Here is a close-up of the extruder on the LeapFrog Creator. On the right-hand side there, you can see that the, um, the unit as it came from LeapFrog didn't have a, a spring-loaded arm and did not have any support material here from the exit of the nip down to the entrance of the hot end. This design you know, was not effective for us. We were not able to, to get uh, quality prints um, as this unit came from the factory. So the modified versions on the left there, you can see the support material and the spring-loaded arm for the, for the bearing to create the nip force. And really, it's, it's not a matter of whether or not there's support, it's how close does that support come to um, the point at which the nip force is applied. Because there are designs out there that, ha that look similar to this, but if there's too much of a gap um, the filament will still fold and roll underneath the drive gear. So the, the I think Rep2 came with, with a, a similar design, but it, it needs to be very close, close clearances to all the different components here in order to effectively prevent the, the filament from buckling and jamming. So the one on the left, we were able to get uh, very high quality prints. You can see the frog there, that was, that's a uh, Ninja Flex frog printed with the LeapFrog 